That's the son-in-law, and that's the son. Where's our boy? This is our boy. Hello. Thank you for having me. Hello. 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 I got one that yeah, looks yeah, like me. Like he like he and our other son is the copy of me. Like Baron is the copy of me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. And, you know, I, I can relate a lot to what Baron is going through because I've been in his age and my dad's first term too. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. you know, look at each other. It only makes you smile. That's all you have. It's very hard. And we did here after your election, you said to me, I think for Baron. Why is a child? Doesn't he have any like, tools or ability yeah. to fight them there? And he's a child. Yeah, he was your first time when he was, was six. Yeah. They were doing five tires on me when I was three years old. Yeah, five years old, yeah. They're waiting for us outside. So yeah. we're giving you a 60 second tour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and welcome the President of the United States, Mr. Donald Trump, and the Prime Minister of the State of Israel, Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu. President Trump, Donald, Sarah and I are absolutely delighted to welcome you and Melania to the Prime Minister's residence in Jerusalem, the eternal capital of the Jewish people, the united capital of the Jewish state. We've known each other for many years, and it's always good to see you, but it's also wonderful to see the blossoming friendship between our two beautiful wives, Sarah and Melania. You're so welcome here, and we're so pleased to see you. We're honored to have you in our home. You've been today, Mr. President, to the Western Wall, one of the holiest sites of Judaism. You've been to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, one of the holiest sites of Christianity. We protect the Christian sites as no one else does anywhere in this region. We protect Christian sites, Muslim sites, obviously Jewish sites. We're committed to the freedom of all faiths and to the rights of all.